Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. And welcome back, everybody. I'm always fascinated by different trends, especially in the interior design area. There's so many different things that you can do in your living space. All these ideas we've talked about with her in the past. By the way, she's an amazing interior designer. Today, we're going to find out what she's into. We're going to learn... I maybe it's trends. I'm not really sure. I'm going to call it Mary Jo's must haves. I don't know her favorite things. Mary Jo Major great. joins us here. How are you doing today? Hey, Steve. I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. Oh, uh, good to have you back here. Yeah. I'm intrigued since I've gotten to know you over these podcasts. Yeah. And I don't want to say your style, but your your methodology um, mm-hmm. for when you look at a, a living space for the first time and what you can do, what you feel somebody should do to mm-hmm. elevate it, make it theirs. Mm-hmm. So that said, curious, what are your favorite things right now? Where do you want to start? <laughs> you know, I I think designers tend to kind of pinpoint one or two things and I, I counted up a list, but the things that get me the most excited about, Steve, are the things when you walk into a room that you may or may not notice right away, but when you do, there's almost like this, oh, <gasps> what? Like there's a little bit of like a surprise factor mm-hmm. where it just like, you didn't quite see it maybe again from the first glance, but when you do, it just gets you excited to kind of take a closer look. So one of the first things I wanted to talk about is this new, tr- I would call it a trend slash it's, you know, it's kind of gone in and out over the years, but there's something called trim. Are you familiar with trim? Do you know what that word? I know T-R-I-M? T-R-I-M. It's not like the wood that you have around your ceiling or around your baseboard. It's fabric. And it's usually, it looks like ribbon. And sometimes it'll have like little texture on it, or sometimes it'll have little balls, you know, those little like pom-pom balls that kind of drop. Sure. sure. So a lot of times you'll see them, you know, especially I would say back in like, oh man, the nineties, you know, when everyone was doing like a lot of fringe, everything on pillows and stuff. Yep. This is think of just kind of like a flat kind of ribbon, if you will. And it's called trim and people are using it right now to outline their room. And when I say outline, I mean, every door, every like along the baseboard and along like your fireplace, like there's a tiny little ribbon of usually in a bright color or, you know, some sort of like dark color that's outlining the whole space. It reminds me of my 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 teenage daughter and her LEDs around everything in her room. Yes. <laughs> yes. Mm. So imagine imagine take that but maybe make it a little bit more sophisticated. <laughs> and um it's what I like about it is that it's especially powerful when you have some cool kind of architectural something in your house. Okay. And it is more I would say it leans a little bit more on the traditional side. So if you're really contemporary, I'm not quite sure this will look maybe a little different. Um but specifically in more traditional designs, people have been doing it and it's usually not very big. It's usually like less than an inch. And what it does is that, again, you don't always notice it. It's almost like eyeliner where you don't even notice it except when you walk in and then you're like looking at the walls and then all of a sudden you're like, wait, there's something that's like going around it all. And you realize this is what it is. Do you have to put it around everything or can you be selective? Like, I'm just going to do it around the ceiling. Uh, I'm just going to do it around the doors, that kind of thing. Or if you're going to do it, commit and do it. It is. I I think you probably could do it a little, you know, one somewhat, you know, some um, I would probably do, define it by like one wall at a time. But the impact of it is that it's everywhere, that it's both on the doors and on the base, as well as on the ceiling around the crown. It sort of reminds me. Of. Indian culture. Yes. Okay. You where think? they have borders. Yeah. Where it's a yeah. fabric and I, and I don't want to like the fringy thing. I'm trying to factor that out, but yes, that kind yes, of went in my yes. mind, but, yes. but just that kind of look. And I'm trying to think of what the patterns of the fabric would look like. Yes. So this, this trim is usually just solid. So it's usually just like a solid, you know, half inch, like, let's just say okay. it's like a dark cranberry. And then the walls, let's just say the walls are like some shade of pink 
Okay. So, you know, it's, so it's in the same family, it's in the same color, but it's, um, it, so it blends in, but it also kind of stands out. Now that you said solid, now I get a better feel for it. And, and I'm, <laughs> I'm more comfortable with it. <laughs> it, it. It is, you know, again, it's not, it, it, this is not something that you see a lot of. So I, you know, there's a handful of, um, designs and designers that I've, I know kind of utilize this, but it is, you know, it's, a, it's like I said, it's a specific look. And so it's not for everyone, but it's, it is one of those little surprises where when you're looking at yeah. something you're like, wow, that is, that's so cool. Um, and so the, that kind of, you know, a little bit less of a specific type, you know, this next thing I'm going to talk about is a little bit more kind of anyone can do it. And that's uh -huh. like painting a ceiling. I just love painted ceilings that are different colors. It can be bright. It can be dark. It can be, you know, really colorful or really muted, but creating some sort of kind of tone other than white is just really fun. It just, it literally just brings anyone joy. I feel like anyone who goes into spaces with a colored ceiling can't help but be like, oh, this is cool. I'm in between homes, as I shared with you before. And if I was in a position where I could paint right now, and I could actually where I am, but okay, um, I would have done it if I thought of it. And that's why you hire an interior designer because right. I never even thought of it. I'm like, and now I'm picturing rooms in the last house, the house before that. Um, and I'm only, I'm only out of the last house in year and change, but I'm picturing, well, I could have done it in that room, but I could have done it in that room. That would have been cool to do it there. It's, it's, and it's a thing now. It's not just a Mary Jo must have or, or no. favorite. It is a thing. It is a thing. Yeah. It is a thing. It used to be, it wasn't as mainstream and now it's becoming more mainstream, but it, you know, remember back in the day when people would did a lot more like statement walls where they yeah. would have just one color on one wall. I feel like that, that is what it's becoming where it's becoming it's just on the almost, ceiling. Yeah. Just yeah. to create just some sort of pop and some sort of interest and, you know, again, it's just paint. It's not like you can't, you know, change it back if you hate it or something. But what I, what I most like about doing that is that it immediately changes how you feel in the room. So mm. you could have all white walls, but if you have like a dark Navy ceiling, you know, it does create this kind of like, almost like a little bit of like a, a hug, you know, where you kind of walk in and even though everything's white, if the ceiling's dark, you're like, Oh, like there is something kind of almost comfy about it if, if that's even a mm. word you can use about a room um and rich something rich about it just like it's a yeah got something because forever ceilings are white boring are there any <laughs> <laughs> that's right steve it's so it boring. is it is it's just boring um yeah. is there any rules of thumb when you're going to do let's let's go navy let's go dark yeah uh, uh things we should be mindful of Yes. So it's difficult to do it if it's a big open concept room. Fair enough. It's, it's easier to do them when they're defined by specific, you know, ceiling kind of differences. So for example, like a bathroom ceiling, like that's pretty defined. That's pretty, you know, noticeable or oh, there's those, you know, the separated, um, yeah, dining rooms, I would say, you know, even entryways sometimes that you can, you know, you can just do that. I, I recently did a, a hallway. So you walk into this person's home and they have a hallway and the hallway eventually kind of stops and it opens up into the rest of the room. Yes. And we decided to paint the ceiling. And what we did is we just kind of stopped it right as soon as the wall changed, you know, as, as soon as the living room started, we kind of stopped it visually. So that way it still felt like, you know, there was like a stopping point. So I would say, yeah, something that you can define easily. And in terms of colors, just make sure you love it. I mean, I think that there are some colors that are a little hard to see. So the colors that I'm thinking about are like what you take out of a Crayola marker box. Mm -hmm. So I think something that's either, you know, if you like a specific shade, let's just say orange, you know, finding something that's maybe um, a little bit more it has some gray undertones or a little bit deeper. So that way it doesn't feel so yep. kind of strong when you see it. Same thing with, you know, all those citrus kind of colors. I think you can either kind of lighten it and make it a little bit lighter or you go, um, yeah, a little bit more saturated and gray. And it, it feels, it, it does make it feel more, uh, 
harsh. It, it makes it feel less harsh to your eyes when you're looking at it. Gotcha. The one thing I'm thinking of versus the white ceiling is yeah. darker. It's going to show more imperfections. Would you say that's correct? No, I would say it depends on what sheen paint you use. And there's so that. <laughs> a lot of sheens have, you know, a little bit of shine to them. But if you do it in a flat, in general, it shouldn't like a, yeah, the basic, it shouldn't, it shouldn't show. <laughs> and and most, most white ceilings are what? Flat. Use a flat paint. All right. Yeah. Very cool. Mm. Yeah. Be thinking about that this weekend uh, <laughs> as I navigate through. And by the way, I would be a little weary of that hallway and then stopping mm -hmm. drawing a line between the dark and the light but you know now that you said it you gave it your blessing so i now i'm okay with it <laughs> but i wouldn't i'd be like i'm not an overthinker but i'd be like yeah let me think about that a little bit more how's that going to feel where it just stops but it's it is a different room so it's okay it is it is mm -hmm. and it has you know it's all about playing tricks on your mind, right? Your eyes look to see where kind of things start and stop. And so if the wall is starting sure. on, you know, the edge, then yeah. Yeah. So the other thing that I would, that I, I'm just really into right now is anytime I get a chance switching out the hardware on something. So this could be kitchen cabinets. This could be a bathroom vanity, yeah. this could be a dresser, but really see like my favorite hardware. I'm, I'm not just talking about like, kind of, you know, a different finish or a different kind of shape. I'm, I'm speaking about the really, the really cool stuff, like the stuff that's like wrapped in leather or has like, uh, do you know what cane is or like rattan? It's like that, uh, like that natural grass type material. Yes. It's like on the back of chairs. They do that right now and knobs and pulls. Now, is it, are they doing that in bossing the metal to look like that or is it that it's other actual material, material. wow it's actual and it's durable material. it lasts mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. wow yeah and even you know there's even hardware right now that is in the shape of like twigs or you know i don't know they have these stones in set i've seen them where they're almost they're meant to look like sh like these shell type you know funky shapes sure. There's colored things. So yeah, I, again, if you think back about what makes me excited, it's like kind of this element of surprise. It's one of those small details where if you're looking at, let's just say your media cabinet, you know, or something where you have your TV on or whatever, you're storing, you're trying to cabinet, something that you're storing stuff. If the hardware is hot pink or looks like this leather wrapped, you know, handle with like this cool you know, black on it, you're like, wait a second. Like, that's not, that didn't come with that. Right. You know, like you kind of have to like realize that that's like this extra little detail that just makes it even cooler. I feel that you're giving us, um, permission and three words. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Mm. Don't be afraid because you know what? There's a quote actually that this kind of ties into. I just read from one of my favorite designers and he says, rooms need to be dramatic to be interesting. And I think, yeah, I think I would agree with that. Like, I think there needs to be a little something that feels, feels out of someone's comfort zone maybe, but it just makes it all the more interesting in the space. Yeah. But we're afraid. I, think, yeah, I just, I just admitted it before cutting the line. <laughs> That's, that's why I'm here to hold your hand to be like, it we're is. doing it together. It yeah. Is. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. Anytime changing out the hardware, that's a huge one. And the other thing, you know, going back to kind of blank surfaces, the other thing, the other trend that I'm really into right now is, and it, it, you know, again, again, this isn't anything new, but lampshades are, there's a whole new kind of category right now of colored or patterned or some other type of lampshade. So again, if you think about the ceiling being the blank canvas, I feel like lampshades, like the standard basic white lampshades are now becoming, you know, something else where Bo boring, they're boring. <laughs> they really are just when they're just basic. Yeah. <laughs> they're just basic. Yeah. And you know, there is, you know, I do think that you have to think about, you know, is this a light you have to see on, you know, like you want to make it as bright as possible because white does do that. But I, 
I would say for a lot of other lamps out there, especially, especially if they're more decorative, creating kind of a different texture or color on them, again, yeah. just immediately creates joy. I, you know, you just inspired me because I didn't think of it because I'm so used to seeing it. But in that room over there is another studio and we're working on it. We're, we're doing, we're upgrading it. Okay. And I have lamps from home that were in a sunroom and they got a tropical vibe to it. And the lampshade has like pineapples on it. And it's really cool. Um, it's been in there for years and I totally forgot about it. And as we're talking of lamps, I've said before that I want to put lamps on my nightstands. I'm so okay. tired of the over the overhead, you know, high hats and everything. Yeah. I'll walk into my bedroom, put that on, <clears throat> excuse me, just to see. And then I shut it off and I turn the TV on for light. I'm not even kidding. Right. So I'm going to take those lamps and they become like wallpaper because right. I I pass through every day. I you know, don't even realize they're there, but they would they would be perfect cuz my uh, bedroom's sort of a tropical vibe to it. I yeah. forgot I had them. So I'm going to try it. They're a little bigger than I would like, but okay. I, I'm going to try them anyway. You know, the base is a little bit bigger. Yeah. I mean, that's, I mean, and that is the somewhat of the fun of it is it is a little bit of an experiment to figure out kind of what works the best, but I think that's a great idea. And especially if they're already there, you oh know, my gosh. You're not looking for, <laughs> they're not even used. They're in the corner, just thrown around. And, and, and I realized they were there because we were changing the lighting for a studio that we okay. needed to see it was oh, dark yeah. i'm like oh man we got a lamp right over there i plug that in but the light that comes off of that lamp mm -hmm. is just so warm and inviting yeah. relaxing it's isn't it funny that back in the day like look at the progression back in the day that's how we saw with a table lamp then we all got bored of that and then we wanted to need the hi-hats because the hi-hats were cool and look at i've upgraded yeah. i you know yeah. i've added hi-hats look at how great that yeah. is yeah and now we just want to go back to just that warm <laughs> what I are you mean, doing with the color on the ceiling? It's yeah. hugging you. It's hugging you. It is. Yeah. This, you know, I do think that people just want to feel comforted in their homes. You Connected. know, I mean, you want to, you know, the idea of like, what is home? What is home supposed to feel like? Well, I think one of the biggest emotions, if you will, is yes, it looks like you, it feels like you, but it feels comfortable. Like you would just feel great in it. Like you don't want to leave it. It's like your right. favorite pair of sweatpants. So I, yeah, I think that yeah, I'm all for trying out the pattern light shades. And the other thing, I don't know if you've seen this either, Steve, where people will do a pattern in the lampshade and it's actually also repeated on the wallpaper behind the lampshades. Same so, pattern. Uh-huh. So it looks like, again, it just kind of all blends in. A little bit of an optical illusion. So... Again, these <laughs> this isn't for everyone. This is just the kind of new fun stuff that I just get excited about. I, I'd have to process that one. I'm not saying I wouldn't. <laughs> Depends on the pattern. Sure, it's, sure. It's it's could be depending on the pattern and your taste, like yes. a little overload, but but cool at the same yes. time with the pattern matches. Yes. I've especially seen it done well in powder rooms. People will have, let's just say they have some sort of cool like mountain, you know, um, there's one that's almost like a whimsical mountains where they're green with some bits of red and yellow flowers all on them. And then the mirror is, let's just say bright red. So you kind of define the mirror and then the lamp shades on the lamp. Cause they don't want to detract from the mirror. have the same shade as the wallpaper. Mm. Wow. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Statements. <laughs> yeah. But you know, it gets us out of our comfort zone, but yes. it's not that it's way out of our comfort zone. And right. we're so trained to make sure everything matches, you know, yeah. just have a solid plus the pattern, blah, 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 blah. Why? Yeah. Why? Who yeah. said so? Why? I know. <laughs> yes, there are a lot of, uh, yes, there are a lot of designers now, me included, that are embracing this, depending on the client, like a pattern on pattern approach where it's, you know, let's just say your lampshades are like a tiny kind of texture, like a little, you know, almost like a zigzag. And then what's around it, maybe a solid, but also maybe like a stripe or some sort of other kind of bigger pattern of some sort. So it all mm. kind of, again, all kind of plays with each other. Mm. It's a fun, it's a fun of my well, job. <laughs> right now, looking in your living space, your home, you're in, yeah. um, you know, right around DC, right? Yes. At this moment, 
What okay. would you what would you do and what would you change? In my home in DC? Yeah. That might not be practical, but if you wanted to and you would just say, if you could snap your finger, you know, I'm all, yeah. I'm looking at that. I'm looking at that ceiling. I'm looking at that. What would it be? Yeah. You know, I would love to kind of do something what we're talking about a little bit, but do it with drapery, like do it with curtains and wallpaper. So in my bedroom, doing all of it wallpaper and then doing the fabric on either side of the windows in the same pattern. So again, you know, what goes around comes around. This style was in like what in the, I don't even know what era wasn't the fifties. I don't know. It was, it was. Describe it. Describe it again. I want to make sure I'm on your page. Yeah, sure. So let's just say you have a floral wallpaper in your bedroom and then the curtains, the things that are on your windows have the exact same pattern. Like they're the exact same, you know, pattern only they're on fabric. So it all kind of just blends in with each other. Why not? Like, I, and I, I mean that I'm not just like throwing, throwing that out there. I mean, yeah. why not? Yeah. Yeah. And then the lampshades would have, you know, like that, like a, there's a, there's a term called strie, which means just like tiny little stripes that are kind of have some space between each other. Oh, fair so enough. almost like Got a strie it. stripe and like a blue shade that would kind of match it all. Isn't it, isn't it funny that we're so fixated on making sure things match. And now for that person, <laughs> you don't have to worry about it. Because it's, it's the same. You don't have to worry about the match. It's the same. Uh, it's the same. So yeah, because I think for me, I would love to be surrounded by this pattern that I love. And when I say pattern, I mean, again, it's not something super in your face. Like it is, you know, um, easy to look at for a long period of time. Sure. <laughs> I think there's some patterns where you feel like you're a little, you know, you might be on something <laughs> If you look at it for a long time and th these patterns that I'm imagining have, I mean, I'm more of a flower girl. So these would have some more flowers in them. Um, so yeah. And I think for me, my favorite colors are some sort of combination of blue purples and little bits of pink and, and like olive greens. So anything that's kind of a mix of all that mm -hmm. I'm, I'm game for. You know what, what you're describing with the walls and the window treatment curtains, whatever it yeah. is, it's gotta be the right pattern. That's, that's yes. what I'm getting. It's got to be the right pattern. Yes. Yes. Okay. And if you're going to do it, you know, again, this idea of commitment, right? <laughs> you commit and you spend, you know, invest in a room like that. Yeah. It absolutely has to be something that you love. And I'm, I say that too, because I actually have some pillow, like Euro shams, like, you know, what you have on your bedding in a fabric that I have loved for over eight years. And that's the, that's the one that I think about doing an entire room and, and mm. curtains in because I never get sick of it. I love it. Mm. I don't think I'll ever get tired of looking at it or being in it. It just will always make me happy. Nice. And yeah, I think there's a lot, you know, I think people don't feel like they can say that always. I think sometimes people say, oh, I changed my mind or I like too many different things, but there are, believe it or not, there are certain things that you get excited about. And even decades later, like you still, you still like it, even if it may not even be in anymore, you know, it's still like, you know, I still really like whatever that is. And there's nothing wrong. No, it's whatever you, whatever you, whatever you're no. feeling. Wow. There's And yeah. And there's always a way to modernize it. So yeah. Uh, love your ideas. Um, I feel I'm, I'm on the page. Like, <laughs> like I'm looking Great. for ceilings. Stay away. Great. Don't let me in yeah. your home. I'm going to paint your ceiling. That um, sounds great. Bring it on. Rise, riseinteriors.co is your website yes. and you can do things virtually as well. You can do consults yes. and all of that. Um, That's right. You are just, you're design freshness. That's what you want. Oh, thank Love you. It. Steve. All thanks. right. Thanks so much for being here today. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks Appreciate for having it. me. We'll be right back. Are you looking for even more of the podcasts and hosts that you love? The Podcast Business News Network is proud to announce that you now have even more ways to listen live. Check out the MyTuner Radio, Online Radio Box, and Simple Radio apps on iOS and Android, or find us online. Search for Business News Network on MyTuner-Radio.com, or search Podcast Business News Network on Streama.com and OnlineRadioBox.com slash US. Take your podcasts on the go, and don't miss a minute of the action. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. 
day-to-day -day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's, it's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage-free, fully adaptive, handicapped accessible house, and there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit hfotusa.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's going to be okay.